challenging in a really different way. So today we're going slow uh, and we're gonna really work on how well can we control our own bodies. Um, and this work is really important. Um, contrary to flexibility, uh, mobility work can also help us build strength. And also when we make gains in terms of mobility, it sticks with us a little bit longer uh, than just flexibility. So with that being said, let's hop up to start. Uh, go ahead and take your arms out. I'm gonna get my cycle going if you're not already doing that. Take your arms out to the side, think scarecrow arm. And we're gonna do our mobility shoulder work. So start to drop your right hand down and press your left hand back behind you. And we're gonna hold here, elbows in line with the shoulders for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's go ahead and twist the opposite direction. Now the elbows are gonna to wanna to drop, don't let them. Squeeze, press the high hands in opposite directions. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Good, same thing, but this time we take the arms out to the sides. Start to rotate your right palm up to the ceiling. Take your left palm, rotate back behind you. So I'm rotating the hands in opposite directions, bringing out the arms like a washcloth. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, opposite direction. It should feel intense, that's what we want. Squeeze it out, go for that, almost that shaky sensation. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Go ahead and release, shrug the shoulders out. Now we've started to work the shoulders. Let's work up a little bit into the neck. And oftentimes, whether we're sitting at home or working, whatever we do, all of us have the tendency, both in our work and out in life, to kind of shrug our shoulders up. So let's release the upper trapezius, hold the shoulders away from your ears, start to draw your chin into your chest. And I'm gonna draw a half circle over to the right. So right ear to right shoulder, come halfway back, and bring it back through center. And let's go the other way. Left ear to left shoulder, bring it halfway back and back to your center. And we're gonna take the next 30 seconds, keep going side to side, over to the right and center and left and center. And each time you go side to side, keep that body nice and still and stable and see if you can make a bigger half circle. So as I come over to the side, I'm pulling my ear to my shoulder. And as I drop my head back behind me, I'm imagining that I'm finding contact with the back of the head and my back. Uh, let's take one more set. One direction. Bring it back through. And the other way. And bring it back through. Good. Last thing, mobility for the spine. We're actually gonna make our way onto hands and knees. Take your left hand behind your head. We tap elbow to elbow, and then we rotate open to the left. Bring elbow to elbow, bring it through, and rotate open. Good, each time, see if you can lift that elbow a little bit higher. We're gonna take four more. And I want you to build strength here in your core and your right arm. So drawing the core in to twist wow. deeper and pressing the floor away from you with your right arm. Last two. And final one. Good, and we'll go right into the other side. Let's go ahead and take the right hand behind the head. We wrap elbow to elbow, open it out to the right. Bring it in and rotate out to the side. And we have four more. Last theory. Good, that left arm stays strong. And final one. Wonderful. All right, let's come on up, either on your knees or standing, your choice. Uh, for our forearms today, we're gonna do a mobility exercise for our wrist that also builds forearm strength. So that forearm position we usually take, we draw the elbows in, palms facing up. And today I'm gonna take my right hand and actually grab my right forearm. I make a fist with my left hand and I start to circle it around, making as big a circle as I can, okay? 
So we're gonna do that for 40 seconds, just circling the left wrist. We have three, two, one, good. And we use our right hand to keep the left arm really stable. And I want you to make as big a circle as you possibly can without letting the arm move. Good. Starting to feel that in the forearm, maybe seeing our veins start to show the cycles are working. Mm -hmm. Nice, last 10. Good, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Let's switch sides. Right arm into the body. Take your left hand, grab onto it, make a fist, circle it around, we're going. And just like when we did strength, the name of the game today is slow, almost even slower than when we did strength. And mobility actually builds a lot of strength too. That's why it's my favorite. It just does everything. Half done. Good. See if you can move a little bit slower, make those circles a little bit bigger. We have 10 and five. Four, three, two, and one. Give it a shake. Okay, so first exercise of the day. We're going to take a pike push-up. So I come into a plank position. I lift my hips up and back, and I want to think about dropping my head down towards the floor, and I push away. I drop my head down, and I push up. So what's working mobility-wise here? I'd say my hips and my spine because I have to get my butt up and my hamstrings have to lengthen. So I am getting some flexibility here as well. So the fingers are nice and wide. We're working into the triceps. So we're gonna take our first 40 seconds together. Go ahead and make your way into plank. Hands under the shoulders. Press your hips up and back. First 40 seconds. Drop your head towards the floor and push away. Drop it down and push away. And if being in that pike position doesn't work for you, you can always come onto your knees, and the alternative would be diamond push-up. Okay, with the pointer finger and the thumb. Mm -hmm. Good. Last 10 seconds. Keep pressing your hips up and back as you do this. Feel the baby muscles of the triceps working. We have six, five, four, three, Two, drop your knees, take the right arm across the body, tricep stretch. Switch sides, left arm across the body. All right, root the hands into the mat. And let's set ourselves up for that second set. So I make my way into plank. Press my hips up and back. 40 seconds, tight push up. Here we go. Down and away. Down and away and it is a funky position to be in and that's exactly why it's so good for us we're forcing our body to be in a shape that we're not used to and so we're building strength in new ways nice good these look great last 10. Mm -hmm. i love it keep tucking the chin into the chest so that you're leading with the very tip top of your head we have four Three, two, and rest. Let's come on up to our knees. If being on your knees does not feel good for you, you can come up to stand. We're gonna work right into a bicep curl, okay? Now I want you to imagine, just like when we did earlier this week, that you're holding the heaviest set of dumbbells that you've ever used. And if you have dumbbells at your house, feel free to grab them, okay? We're gonna start elbows in, 40 seconds. We pull the fist in slowly. We slowly release them down, squeezing the bands the whole time. Squeeze, pull them in, just as slowly press them out. That's the move, we're going, we're already 10 seconds in. Good, so finding that resistance, not only as you pull in, but also as you slowly set those weights back down, because if we had really heavy weights, we wouldn't just wanna drop them. Move in. 
squeezing the elbows in all the way out. Now see what other muscles in the body you can engage to get more control. Maybe the core, maybe your glutes, maybe you grow even taller. Yeah. Good. The beauty of the bands. I can make every movement hard, even if I don't have weight. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Gently set your weights to one side, your imaginary weight. Quick cap refilled check, refilled check. Hold your palm up. Press the base of your palm. Make sure that it goes from white back to normal color within three seconds. If it takes a lot longer, loosen your bands up a bit. And let's all prepare for our second set. So elbows in. Pick those dumbbells or imaginary dumbbells back up. 40 second bicep curls in nice and slowly. Imagine you're pressing something away from you at the back of your hands to bring them down. You come in and we come back down. Keep squeezing the elbows in. Yes. Good. And if you had weight at home or you want to use it, go for it. Half done. After this, we're going to come into our plank work. We have two plank variations and then we're doing a heart rate boost. We have six, five, nice and slow. Four, three, two, and one. Set your weights or your imaginary weights over to one side. For our first plank variation, it is a forearm plank lateral raise reach. That's a lot. Let's walk through it. So I make my way into a forearm plank position. Let me angle this down a bit so you can see me. Boop. There we go. A little bit better. I make my way into a forearm plank position. Okay. Elbows under shoulders. I lift one arm out to the side. I punch forward nice and slow. Pull it in. Set it down. Other side. I lift. Reach forward. Pull it in. Set it down. And I want you to see you. Fully lengthen your arm out, pull it in, then release it. Slow, okay? So none of that. We're not flopping. We're moving intentionally, getting that elbow as high up as you can, reaching, pulling something in, take it down, okay? We're going side to side. First 40 seconds, make your way into your forearm plank. We're going in three, two, one. We pick an arm up, reach all the way through that range. Nice straight arm. Imagine you're tugging something, pull it back down, release the arm, other side. So this is the pace that I'm working at. If you want to go at this pace or slower, I like it. There is no need to go fast just to gain strength. Nice. Good. You can always do these on your knees if being on the forearms is a bit too much. Last 10. Ooh, looks great. Mm-hmm. Good. Nice, Kayleen. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone stay on your forearms. Drop your knees. Couple rounds of cat cow. So I tuck my tailbone under and I release it up towards the ceiling. Pull the belly button in around your back. Untuck the tailbone. Lift it up. Couple more. We're getting a nice stretch across our lumbar, our lower spine as we do this. Last two. And final one. Good, go ahead and walk yourself back into the forearm plank. Second set, let's do it. We go up, out, in, down, side to side. Time is rolling. Good, and if you're just joining us on Instagram, come on into a forearm plank and jump on into the workout. Lateral reach. Yeah, that's it, good. And your obliques, the sides of your abs, are doing a lot of work here to keep your body stable, and that's what we want, that control. Last 10. Mm-hmm. Fully extending from the fingertips, grab something, pull it in. Take it down. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your knees. Make your way up onto your palms. Okay. Our last move for upper body is Spider-Man push-up. So we have options here. Option number one, I go knee to elbow, push-up. Knee to elbow, push-up. 
okay? Option number two, you can always do these on your knees as well, okay? So you see, we have three options. Option number two, knee to elbow, hold, push up, bring it back. Switch sides, push up, bring it back, okay? We're not only building strength in our chest and our back, we're also opening up our hips, getting those knees as high up as we can, okay? So pick a variation, try it. I really encourage you to try it with your knee up. Even if you can't touch your arm, you can still do a push-up with that leg lifted. So we're going in three, two, one. Take knee to elbow, find your push-up, press up, step it back, and switch sides. And if you're on your knees, you can also do the push-up with one leg up, okay? There's all kinds of variations for different body skills and types. The best thing to do is just find what works for your body, gives you a little bit of an extra challenge and pushing yourself in that range of comfort, but still safe. <laughs> Good. Yes, last 10. Get those knees even higher, bring them up to your tricep. Mm-hmm. Nice, we have five, four. Good, Lily, three, two, and rest. Come on up, give the wrist a shake. All right, cardio moves for the day. Everyone rise on up to stand. We're familiar with these, we've done them before. Um, I like them because they provide mobility and flexibility along with our cardio. So the first one is knee tap to ankle tap. I go tap, 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 tap. Knees, ankles, knees, ankles. When I'm doing my ankles, I'm opening up my hips. It's kind of a stretch, but we're doing it in a cardio form. Next up, we have butt kick punches. So I'm getting a stretch across my quads while I'm doing it. I'm going up. And lastly, we have knee to elbow toe touch. So I go in, up, in, out, okay? You can add a hop or you can just keep it as it is. Try and get your leg up to your arm, okay? All right, first 30 seconds. Knee tap to ankle tap. We have three, two, one, let's go. Knee, knee, ankle, ankle, knee, knee, ankle, ankle. Yes, that's the step. Tapping hand to opposite leg. Woo. Good. Get that little bounce in there, get your heart going. Woo. Yes, last 10. And we're going into butt kick punches in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Butt kicks, punch it out, and go. Good, try and get your heels all the way to your butt. Woo. Firing everything up. Half done, pick it up. Good, last 10, go, go, go. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Knee to elbow, toe touch in three, two, one. I go in, up, in, up, side to side. Woo, get those legs up. We're gonna replicate this move in some of our lower body work. <laughs> yes, woo, have done. Add a little hop in your step. There we go. Last 10. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, everyone. Grab a big sip of water. Swap out your bands for your legs, and we'll do our question of the day. For those who are joining on Instagram, welcome. We've got Zoom down here. We've got Instagram up here, and we're all kicking our butts together. So go ahead and swap out those bands. I'm gonna come up to stand to do it. And the question of the day is, if you had to eat one food and only one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? The question yesterday was, what is your pizza, cultural- Pizza, 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 pizza. Pizza, pizza. Who, who said that, John? That was like really fast. Pizza, that's it, forever? Okay, what else have we got? Healthy pizza. What, what's healthy pizza? Dean <laughs> <laughs> says coconut. Interesting. Okay. 
Shellfish. What else? Shellfish. Just shellfish. Okay. French onion soup or fried calamari. Guys, these are these are bold choices to eat only this forever. I like it. We're we're really invested. <laughs> I think pie. 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 You could be, Any you have, specific kind or just like all pie? You could have a bunch of different pies that way, so you can mix it up even within the pie. That's like a cream pie. The pie and stuff, yeah. <laughs> also, you know, like just that it. he has used a coconut in every answer for the last couple of questions. Steve used a coconut in every answer? Yeah. Last, the other day it was something about a coconut in the middle of the ocean. And today he, oh, yeah, he, was, he has a weird obsession with coconuts. He was found floating on a coconut. Steve, you can drink coconut milk too. Steve, you're not answering why the coconut fascination. <laughs> We should just call him Coconut Steve from here on out. <laughs> huh. Steve would eat coconut. He was found floating on a coconut. Hmm. It'll all come full circle Sunday. We have yet to figure it out. Okay, so we have pizza, shellfish, French onion soup, fresh fruit I saw. That's a good one. I like that. Nice and healthy. What else? Pie. I think I would have to go... I'd have to go sushi. I just, I just love it. I don't know. What else have we got? I need two more answers and then we're going to jump into the work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, there's chat answers. Okay. Fresh fruit, pie, guacamole, solid, Chris. I need one more. I'm going to call on someone if I don't get answers. Okay. Um... Quentin, did you already answer? I said French onion soup or fried calamari. French onion soup and fried calamari. Okay, all right, fine, good enough. I'll take it. Let's start working out again. Enough talking about food. <laughs> all right, bands are working. Get your cycle going. And starting with our calves today, we have heel raise kick. So I hate to say this because I feel like it has a negative connotation, but it's darn hard work. So we're going to channel our inner ballet artist today. So thinking ballet, because I can do some hard stuff. I'm going to angle this up a bit so you can see. I'm going to go down. There you go. Okay. So I'm going to lift one heel up and off the floor. And I advise grabbing onto a wall, a chair, your hips, grab onto something. Okay. So I take one heel up and off the floor. And then you're going to do your best. And this is really wobbly for me, but that's why I want us to all do it together so we can all grow stronger. You start to kick your other leg forward, side, back, forward, side, back. Okay? So we're going to do the left heel lift, the right leg does the work. And we're going to start together in three, two, one. 40 seconds. So pick that left heel off the ground. The right leg goes forward, side, back. Yes. Up. Out. Back. Yeah, that's it. Keep going. Wonderful. Good. And we've been practicing doing different kinds of kicks. And I'm wobbly. You can hold on to something if you want. Woo, there we go. Up. Out and back. Last 10 seconds. Try and keep that left heel up the whole time, no matter what. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Good. Go ahead and give the legs a shake. All right. Let's do the other leg. Right heel comes up. And if kicks aren't working, you can always tap, tap, tap. I apologize, it took me a minute to give a modification. And I'm gonna do the kicks, but I'm not that great at these yet. So it is gonna be super wobbly. So by all means, please wobble along with me and we'll do it together. Let's get stronger. Three, two, let's go. We kick up, side, back. Yes, up, side, back. That's it, spine stays nice and straight. As you do it, imagine you're balancing a book on the top of your head. We don't want to get any lean in there. Last 20 seconds. Whatever you do, try and keep your right heel up. 
Mm -hmm. Last 10, see if you can do one more set. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the heels down. Now, pick them right back up. We're gonna do one more bonus set. So keeping the heels lifted off the floor, see if you can lift or kick alternating legs forward. We go kick and kick, kick and kick. Yes, we have 10, nine, <laughs> eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo, good job. Okay. So we've been practicing in our cardio burst that elbow to knee straight leg kick. We're gonna make it into one of our workout modes today. So it's a squat to bent leg lift. And I'm gonna make a couple notes here because it's easy to kind of cheat this one. And I wanna make sure we really do the work. So my arms come out to the side. I take a squat. Now I want you to think about lifting the outer edge of your leg towards the side. So it's not knee to arm, it's outer knee to arm. Squat, outer edge, lower. So I'm opening up my hips as I do this. And just like we did with that calf work, you have a book balanced on your head the entire time. None of this, we stay straight, it's this, okay? Squat, lift, all right? Arms in line with the shoulders the whole time. 40 seconds, two sets. We have three, two, one. Arms out, let me see it. Squat, up. Take it slow, more focus on getting that leg up towards your arm and getting your butt low in the squat than how many reps we do. Yes, and this is building hip strength. It's also building shoulder strength because our arms out to the side. It's building quad strength, it's building glute strength. Hips are the biggest muscle complex in the body. I know I'm a broken record and I'll keep saying it. It is so important to make them strong. Beautiful, last 10 seconds. Yes, keep those arms up. Don't let them get sleepy. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hands to hips, rock it side to side. Release them. Those look great. Hard. All right. Second set, we're doing the same thing, but this time at the end, at each side, we're gonna lift and we're gonna pulse it up and up for 10 on each side. Notice I'm not flopping over. I'm squeezing here so much that I'm able to get that leg up just using my hip strength, okay? So second set, same thing. We're just gonna add that pulse. We go down, lift, down, up. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. Extending your fingertips in opposite directions the whole time. Keep those arms super active as well. Oh, John, nice. Good, and making sure we're lifting with the outer edge of the knee. So it's not knee to arm, it's outer knee to arm. Amazing. Good. Go, get go. Nice, Anne. You guys all look great. This is really good. Sydney <laughs> and Sophia, you guys are at different paces. I, I don't know what to do with myself. This is unheard of. Good. Four, three, two. Squat down. Lift your left leg up. Hold it. Find stability. Little pulses up and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, switch sides. Go down and up. Get that leg up, squeeze it. Eight, seven, six, strong leg. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Nice job, everyone. Heart rate boost, first 30 seconds. Knee taps to ankle taps, let's go. Tap, tap, up, up, tap, tap, up, up. Those are awesome. I love seeing everyone do mobility work. High on those toes. Good. Woo. Last 10. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Buck kick punches, let's go. Good, get those heels off the ground, get those arms going. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, half done. Go, 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 go. All right, last 10. Speed, fast as we can go. Flat head, we have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Knee to elbow, toe taps. Last one, let's go. We go up, kick, up, kick. Now we practice this. Woo! Option at a hop. I think this is the hardest one we're doing. Yes. All right. Woo! Losing my stuff. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Walk it out. Grab a sip of water. Steve's going to find a way to answer coconut something for everything we ask going forward. All right. Woo. Let your heart rate mellow out for a little bit. And take a gaze at the screen to see the next exercise. So, how can we incorporate mobility into our lunges? You can lunge out to the side. So, next exercise, we have a lateral lunge to reverse lunge with two parts. So, I take my left leg, I lunge side, up, back, up. Side, up, back, up. And you might be asking yourself, isn't that side lunge the same thing as a Cossack squat? And the answer is yes. It's half of a Cossack squat. So the same rules apply. As I come down, I don't want to let my heel lift. Keep it rooted. Get as low as you can go. Press into the heel. Bring it back. Drop that back knee towards the floor. Come back up. Okay? So we're doing the left side to start. Only that side. We have three, two, one. We go out, up back, up, mm -hmm. that's it. Good, an option to what to do with your arms. As long as your shoulders are up, no rounding out, you can extend your hands on your hips, you can take your arms forward, you can take your arms up, your choice. Or you can do the wave. <laughs> Good, in five, we're gonna move right into the right leg. We have four. Good, three, two, and one. Now let's start this together because I'm noticing a little bit of um, a little bit of funkiness in what we're doing. So as we step out to the right, I want to bend into my right leg. I noticed a couple people stepping out and bending in this leg. So I bend into my right leg. I come up. I drop my right knee down. And I come center. Now we're grooving. We're going. Over, up, back, and center. That's the stuff. Mm-hmm. Good, I'm seeing people with hands behind the head. As long as you're not pitching forward, that's fine. We're doing two sets of these. The sustainable movements. Get that back knee as low as you can to the floor. Last 10. Ooh, John looks good. Nice, Kayleen. Good, we have six, five, four. Go, George. Three, two, and one. Awesome job, guys. Shake it out. All right. So if you tried the first variation with hands on hips, you have the option here to try. You can take hands behind the head. You can take arms straight up. Now keep in mind, any time that we lift our arms above our heart, it gets harder for us to keep a straight spine. So if hands behind the head is too hard, but hands at the hips is too easy, you can always take hands to shoulders. So you can work into that movement, just playing with it, as long as we're not pitching forward, okay? So starting with the left leg, second set, here we go. We go side. Up, down, up, whichever variation works for you today. Now, if you have your arms straight up, I want you to keep your arms straight up. Try not to bend the elbows, and we're also working to the shoulders. Our core is working, and everything is working even harder. These look fantastic last 10 seconds, and then we're going to go right into the other side, and we're done. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last set, we go over to the right, down. Up, back, and up. That's the stuff. Good. Chest up, standing nice and tall. Half done. Driving into the heel on that side lunge. 
Yeah, last 10. Woo, we have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Step it up, shake the legs out. All right, this is our last heart rate boost of the day. So let's make it a good one, okay? First 30 seconds, knee tap, ankle tap, let's go. Tap, tap, up, up, tap, tap, up, up. We're gonna take a sip of water after this set. Good, now check your breathing here. See if you can go in through the nose, out through the nose, or in through the nose, out through the mouth. We wanna do our best to control our breathing. Good, last five, four, three, two, and one. Butt kick punches, let's do it. Woo. See if you can stay off your heels the whole time. Get those heels all the way up. Woo -wee. Breaking a sweat, I like it. Go, go, go. Last 10, run it out, make it fast. We have eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Hands up, elbow to knee, arm to leg, and go. Up, kick, up, kick. Woo! Try and find contact, bringing your leg up to your arm instead of your arm down to your leg. Yes, half done. Last 10, pick it up, pick it up. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and water time. Sip by sip. Okay. This, keep moving, keep moving. Walk around, walk around. Shake them out. Okay. New exercise alert. We're doing something we haven't done before. So, we've talked about rot uh, rotation of the legs in the hip sockets before. So, this is neutral, my feet are neutral. This is external rotation of the legs in the hip sockets. And this is internal. So we don't spend a lot of time walking around like this, but it's important to move this way um, because one, it gives us better ease of movement. And two, if for some reason we were to fall and our leg goes like this, we bend, we don't break. So with that being said, we're gonna practice internal hip rotation in an active position. A fancy way of saying, I'm gonna come into squat. This is my variation, I go very low. I'll show you different versions. I go super low, I drop alternating knees down to the floor, okay? Internal hip rotation in squat. Now. Your variation might look like this. That's fine. That's totally fine, okay? Whatever you're doing, my hips, my upper body doesn't move. I drop the inner edge of my knee down, come back up. Drop it down, come back up. It's a weird, funky looking kind of dance, but I promise it is good for you, okay? So, I'm seeing a question in the chat. Let me address that. Jeff, you're a little late. <laughs> Jeff says, you can't pick 18 different kinds of food. It was one food, Jeff. Come on, come on. <laughs> we'll address this after class. Okay, so let's all make our way into a good squat form. My feet are slightly wider than my hips, okay? And we wanna keep our weight true or false. I wanna keep my weight in my toes. Nod your head yes if this is true. Nod your head, uh-uh, this is false. Yeah. Okay. It's false. My weight is in my heels the whole time, okay? So weight is in the heels, dance those toes up and off the floor. Drop down into your squat position, 40 seconds. Knee down, up, knee down, up. It's gonna feel really weird. Try and get your knees towards the floor without moving your body. And I hold my hands like this because for some reason that makes me feel stronger. You can do whatever you want with your hands. Mm -hmm. Alternative, if that's too harsh on your knees, do a squat pulse. Okay, keep going. 
Good. This is slow and good. Nice one. Good. Staying in that squat position. Awesome, Kayleen. Everyone see if you can sink your butt a little bit lower. Nice, and We have six, five, four, three. Perfect, Gabe. Two and one. Come on up. Shake it out. Super weird. Okay, we've got one more set. And we're going to sprinkle this exercise into our workout uh, for the next couple weeks just so we can track our own progress. So if you're not where you think you should be today, one, there is no should. It's your body. You're perfect. And two, we'll keep working there, okay? Weight is in my heels. Come down into that squat position. Second set, let's go. Down, up, down, up. Otherwise, see if you can pulse in squat the whole time, okay? We're all staying low. We're not coming out of that position. Why? Because even in squat, we're opening up our hips and we're gaining a lot of mobility, which is fantastic. Is my foot supposed to hurt on these games? Uh, good question. No. So if your foot is starting to hurt, don't rotate your foot as much. Just come into the knee and center. Knee and center. But keep your pinky toe rooted into the floor the whole time. So it's less pressure on your foot. Mm -hmm. Last 10. Good. Oh, I see hands behind the head. We're going crazy. I like it. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up. All right. Two more exercises and then we're done. Let's get the heart rate up in a slightly different way. We have alternative burpees. Burpees that are made strictly for the sake of mobility. I come into plank position. I step my right foot outside my right hand. I step my left foot outside my left hand. Squat number one, rise up. Squat number two, I come back, okay? If you need to jump, you can jump. Hop up, jump. Hop back, but I want to see those two squats. One, two, back, okay? If you skip the squats, especially on the way down, if you just plonk your hands down, you are not doing any favors to your low back. And that is exactly how we don't want to bend over. We want to get a little bend in the knees. So I'm going to call you on it in a loving way, okay? We have one minute of alternative burpees. We're starting in three. Two, one, plank position, either step or hop, feet up, squat one, rise, squat two, come back, either step or jump. No need to do a push up here unless you're feeling super wild, but this is mostly about the hips and just getting our heart rate up. Nice. Oh, I see those squats. Yes. John, that is amazing. <laughs> Good. And give it a little reach at the top. Throw your arms up. Nice, Gabe. Woo. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good. Diane, I love it. Great bend of the knees. Nice, Jeff. Yes. Last 15 seconds. Keep moving. Keep going. Everyone is doing so great. Good. We have 10. See if you can do two more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and come on up to stand. Shake it out. Last exercise, standing of the day. Then we're gonna come down for core and we're gonna call it. Good job, everyone. Good job, seriously. We are very familiar with curtsy lunge. And this is another way of doing a curtsy lunge while we also get a stretch. So they call this cross under lunge. I take my left leg, I cross it underneath my right. Now, very important is that the toes of my right foot all stay rooted into the floor. So I'm not rolling out at all. So I really root through this leg. I drop down, I reach up and over with my left arm, okay? So the same foot that steps back, we reach. So this time I step my right foot back, my left toes do not come off. I reach, come back through center. So I'm going side to side. Mm -hmm. Back knee touches the floor, front foot does not move, all right? First 40 seconds, these are very slow. I wanna see a big side body reach. None of this, I wanna see this, okay? Stretching all the way from the obliques, the side of the body, to that TFL muscle in the side of your hip. We're going in three, two, one, 40 seconds. I step my left foot back, check your front foot, reach, come back up, switch, and to the side. 
and stay nice and low here, low and slow. Woo. There we go. Yeah, it's almost like a crawl. That's it. Mm-hmm. That big toe of the front foot stays glued to the floor the entire time. Last 10 seconds. Good reaches, guys. I'm seeing a couple bent elbows. You can lengthen that out, really get to the side body. Fantastic. Balance is working as well. We have five, four, three, two. Shake it out. All right. One more set. Okay. Starting with the left leg. Same thing. We're going side to side. The only kind of modification I would say is some people I'm seeing reaching like this. If you can, lengthen out that arm even more. Other than that, these look great. We're going in three. Two, one, step your left foot back, take it over, stay low, step your right foot back, reach over, woo, side to side, yes, good stuff, mm-hmm, nice, all right, I'm reaching my arm with the same leg, I'm stepping back, I reach, stay and switch arms. <laughs> Yeah, other one. Perfect. You got it. Yeah. Good. Last 10. Good. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, everybody. Balance work. We worked all day for this. Arms out to the sides. Root all of your weight into the left foot. Come onto the big toe of the right foot. Kick that leg up. Hold it. Now pull your heel in towards your butt, kick it out. Heel in towards your butt, kick it out. My leg is in line with my hip. I have four, three, you have a book on your head, two, last one, kick it out, outer edge of the foot, little lift, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, let's switch other leg good lift that leg up heel into butt we're doing six of them good top of the head is flat there we go we have four three hip is squeezing two last one little kicks out of the foot eight seven six five four three two and rest let's come down for some core so with our core work i'm getting shoulder work as well as leg work so i come into a hollow body position i pull my leg in out i switch in out i switch in out okay 30 seconds we're going in three two one so i go down up switch down up so my shoulders are working just as much as my core and my legs. Yes. All right, half done. Mm hmm Good, in five, we're gonna extend everything out in opposite directions and hold. We have three, two, one, hollow body hold, 30 seconds. Push your heels away from you. Reach your fingertips away from you. If your back starts to hurt or lift off the floor, just lift your legs up a little bit higher. Otherwise, keep dropping your heels towards the floor, driving fingers and heels in opposite directions. Breathe through it. Pull your belly button into your spine. We have 10 more seconds. We're going to do it together. Yes, breathing. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Shaking. Three, two, and one. Knees into the chest. Last thing, legs and tabletop. Extend your arms out to the sides like a T. The rules are shoulders don't lift, knees don't touch the floor. I rock over to one direction, squeeze my knees, don't let them touch, pull them back through center. I rock over to the other direction, squeeze your knees, pull them back through center. If you want more of a challenge, do this with your arms extended up towards the ceiling. But if your shoulders lift off the floor, you're cheating. Good. Keep going side to side. Woo! There we go. Wonderful, I love it. Instagram's going, Zoom is gone. We've got 10 more seconds left. Keep squeezing your knees together the whole time. It's an active spine stretch. 
and oblique work for the sides of those abs. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Pull your knees into the chest, rock side to side. Give yourself a big old hug. And then keeping the shoulders rooted into the floor, arms come back up to the sides like a T. And I let both knees just fall over to one side. And it doesn't matter if the knees touch the floor. Most importantly, my shoulders stay rooted down. And then pull the knees back through center, let them fall over to the other side. And then start to pull your knees back through center. Rock and roll up and down along the spine. We're going to try and move together. So we're going to rock and roll up and down. And then if you can, root your feet into the mat, pop up to stand. Oof. Yeah, give it a shot. Why not? You can use your hands if you need to. Good. Make your way up to stand. <laughs> we try it until we do it. Yes. Good. I saw some like swinging going on there, but I like it. We all got up eventually. Good. Right hand to the right leg. Reach everything up and over. So doing my best to keep my legs straight. I'm letting my ear fall down towards that shoulder. And switch sides over to the other way. That might have to be an exercise we do going forward. Rock up to stand. <laughs> Good. And then let everything fall to the floor. Forward fold. Bending alternate knees. Wiggle side to side. Working through any pops and cracks. I know I definitely get them. And then let everything hang. Shake your head. Oh, yes, we did mobility today. And spinal mobility. Roll up very slowly, one vertebrae at a time. And once you come up, right ear to right shoulder. Left ear to left shoulder. Reach your hands up. Bring them together. Give yourself a round of applause. Awesome job. We will be here same time, same place tomorrow. And now we'll, I will examine Jeff's laundry list of last foods he would eat, which seems like a lot for one food. Good job, everyone. Thank you very awesome. much. Awesome. Thanks, Laura. <laughs>